If the G5 twin is running improperly or recovering at a slow rate, it's recommended to perform the bench test to help determine where the problem lies. Before starting the bench test, remove anything connected to the input or output fittings and make sure the filter screen is clean. With both valves open, turn on the power to the G5 twin. You should feel suction on the input port and pressure should build at the output port. If the machine sounds like it is running normally, you can proceed with the test. First, close the output valve on the faceplate. The machine should build internal pressure and shut off at approximately 550 PSI in under 60 seconds. If the machine reaches the pressure cutoff in under a minute, proceed by turning the power switch off and quickly close the input valve. Both gauges should equalize around 400 PSI. A pressure drop slower than 30 PSI per minute is normal for this test and does not necessarily indicate a leak. While you're checking the holding pressure, press your fingers against both ports for a few seconds and then release. There should be no pressure exiting from these ports when the valves are closed. If you can feel any pressure, it could indicate a leak at the ball valve seals. If the machine pressures up quickly and holds pressure as described, then the recovery speed issues are likely caused by something other than the G5 twin. Common causes are restrictions from valve cores and core depressors, quick disconnect style low loss fittings, or clogged filters. Liquid trapped in the system can also cause very slow recovery. If the machine did not reach the pressure cutoff in under a minute, the most common causes are worn valves, valve springs, or seals. The lack of suction at the input or pressure buildup at the output also indicate worn valves and springs. Valve and spring replacement is a simple repair and will take about 20 to 30 minutes with the KTG520R kit and basic tools. You can also call or email Appian with any other questions and the results of this test can help us quickly identify any other issues, both internal and external, to your recovery machine.